Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and gamers to another episode from Lorecraft. We're going to keep working on that beautiful windmill today. Oh, I am so excited. We still got to do the interior and um, a path going up to it. And once we do that, we have a few other projects we have to do on the server because next episode, next episode is episode 50. That means we need to have a world tour. I want it to look nice for it. So we got to do that. So let's... I must have done this off camera. I forgot about that. All right. Well, all we got to do now is we got to go inside and and deal with some mobs. Okay. Okay. I'm starting to think that these torches are a little high. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, we actually have a few projects we have to do today. Um, not all of them are like, make everything look nice and pretty for the um, start of the next world and all that stuff. But... Actually, why don't I, instead of doing it like this, put these on the four faces? I think that would be a better idea. Yeah, I think it looks a little nicer, too. I'd say so. Is this spawnable still? You sure betcha. Oh, well. But yeah, think about it like this. Uh, windmill turns, cranks this, which would crank that going, so this would turn like clockwise so it would go down and up and stuff like that and then it would push this and it would turn it this way and then it would turn this and it would spin it and it would make the, the wheat stuff we put in here turn into flour for bread and it's amazing yeah i spent a lot of time thinking of all the logistics of how to do this even though it's just purdy um only a disadvantage is that right there that right there um do we have another fence? Not spruce. Not an oak fence gate. Huh. Oh well. I'll go fix that off camera. And we're going to go back to secret base for a new project we're starting on today. And some of you guys are going to be very, very happy about it. I'll catch you there. Alrighty guys, welcome back. So, as you can see, there's a few changes. Um, I've been doing a lot more fishing. We have a lot more books and stuff like that. We actually got another mending book and I'm now keeping the Silk Touch filtered out. Uh, just because they're always the ones I need the most. And I figured, while talking, why not get a little bit of work done here. Um, we have um, a good amount of items now. Um, it's actually becoming almost a problem uh, with how many we have because we're running out of storage space. So we're going to be building silos today and we're going to be doing a fancy little design with them. So most of the time you guys have seen silos before. I know you have. It's the thing that you build up and it keep you put one item into each one and it's very easy, very simple and you don't have to think about it again. And it's all in one room and I want to break as many of those as I can because I think a silo is very underrated especially since so many people think that the shulker box storage system is fantastic I want to use my shulker boxes for when I go out mining and traveling and bringing back resources because if I didn't frankly we wouldn't have as many resources as we have because I would have to put all of them down every time and not be able to bring them back with me so now that we got that taken care of, I'm going to prove my point of how much, yeah, this is where I keep my shulker boxes now, how much we need silos. These are mini silos for dirt. Is that coarse dirt? Nope, it was dirt. Dirt. And by the way, these are shulker boxes full of dirt. We need better storage options. So what we're going to do is we're going to have three mega silos all the way up until the pretty much the ground as close as we can get it to the ground level up there three on this side three on this side and then we're gonna have nine over here so it's gonna be this kind of design too because i want to be able to just pull from the bottom i don't want to have to think about which one i'm pulling all the items out of so by the way if you're on a multiplayer server this is a lag like contraption like this is the laggiest setting for a hopper but i'm on my own so it's fine um ooh, i should also mention though i went afk fishing last night and we got a lot of sugar cane this seems really worth it i mean yeah there's a lot of loss but it works enough that i'm happy but 
that's going to be the goal. That's what we're going to be doing. So I need to make space for each of these. I need to decide what's going in each one. I need to dig out where all the hopper lines and redstone's going to go, and then I'll catch you guys back here, and we'll talk about how we're going to get things done. All right? All right. Welcome back, guys. So you know this area down here. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to have to edit it a little bit. I think we might not be able to put it as far back or something along those lines, but I think I found another way to do it. We're going to have it right in this area, so that way we can have the hoppers in the back on this one because of the fact that it just seems like we don't have enough space. So we're going to be losing a block on this side, I think, because any farther we're running into our mine shaft down into the mines, and that's a problem. So, and I want to hook this up. There's a video that came out last week, uh, Silo to Shulker Box Packer, that I want to have available for this. And all it is is, let's see, trapped regular chest. We're going to do this. Then we got to jump. And it's this pattern here. Not what I wanted. Is what I wanted. All this does is it makes it so you're able to quickly grab a shulker box of that's not right. This might be easier if I just build two at the same time. Um, so, or all of them at the same time, do it layer by layer. So what this does, it makes it so every item will flow all the way through it. Um, there's no issue of, okay, that's a regular, so we need a, I mean, that's a trap, so we need a regular chest over here. And then, yeah, you get it, right? You get it? And we're going to go all the way up with this. This is for our items that we need a lot of, and I mean a lot of. So this will be stone, cobblestone, dirt grass uh we'll have one for logs one for wood um which you might be thinking how are we going to do that i will teach i will show i will educate um but to do this we're going to need a good amount of space and i think this is going to work just fine so i'm going to go up a few more layers um a few more layers <laughs> it's going to be a little bit and I will catch you guys back here when it's all looking good. All right, guys, welcome back. So, got this all set. What we're going to do is we're going to put in some item filters in the back there. So, to do that, I think the easiest way to get there is, well, let's dig down. Um, wow. <laughs> we got it. All right. I'm shocked at how much space we actually need. Um... Ooh, um, thank you. So, if you guys have never seen this before, um, <clears throat> now that I think about this, with the limitation we have with this, do we have space? Because we need hoppers going here is the game plan. Hoppers right above here. No, we need hopper, hopper, hopper. Which, if... We need to take an output from there. Yep, it's too high. And, all right. Um, so, we need to take out this layer, which makes it a little bit easier, because then we can just measure from this layer with the other hoppers that we're going to have. Um, so, if you guys have never seen this before, it's a design by Impulse. Um, it is by far really I think we're gonna have to just remove that water for now at least in all likelihood what I'm gonna do is I'll push this over by a few more blocks but like this way a few more blocks but it almost hurts it almost hurts because I think it looks great with the water but <clears throat> all right let's forget about the mine for now we haven't used that thing in forever anyway, because, I mean, we have so many resources that we just don't need to mine like that much anymore. 
Um, other than a redstone. Ugh, we've never broke that redstone box. Um, Alright, so... I have not built one of these in survival in a long time, so it's actually a little strange having to do this. But, the way it's going to work is... If I remember correctly... <clears throat> I did not need to dig out that layer. Um... <laughs> The way this works is that we have, that's right, okay. I got it now, I got it. I know what I'm doing. We have this here. This goes into the back of this, like so. And what this will do is it'll filter out the items that we don't want to be going through our system. Um, and it's a very very useful circuit it has overflow protection so we don't ever have to worry about like things breaking things going wrong um so then all we have to do is grab this torches all going along right here and i think we got to get rid of this layer as well Yep, okay. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I am very happy because I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I misplaced the block. It's fine. Um, so all it is is it goes all the way down here. And it'll be red from here. So just like this, then all we need is... Is that a block too high? Is that a block too low? It's a block too high. Right? Well, what if we did chest here again? No. No. Nope. To keep it simple, we're going to leave it right there. We have the wood, we have the iron, it does not matter. We're able to make as many hoppers as we want. I've actually done a little bit of wood mining off screen. So yeah, we got enough. Um, Let's see, we have those. Let's just pop those over here. Grab our chests. Grab our more chests. Grab the ridiculous amounts of iron we have. And that should be enough. Um... So the way this works is, wow, I kind of thought that we had um, more space. The, these silos are bigger than I keep thinking they are, which is kind of funny. Um, so if we go like this and point them into here, point these straight down, and this is going to go and run this way. And the goal of this is that it'll wrap around and we'll have smaller silos over there. <coughs> um, and the way it'll go is it'll start up here, go around top silos, deep storage silos, and then off into a extra box. But we need to put in some of these um, into each of these, but I'll just do this one right now. Pop in the, this one is for dirt. And this should run out until it hits 42, I'm hoping. Stop at 42 or 41. Thank you. And that's all it is. It's very simple. It's a pretty straightforward design, which I really like. Um, I can't really mess it up. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's about it for this. I remember this is cobblestone. I don't want to mess it up. That's why I didn't want to mess it up. It's nether brick. But yeah, these are the ones we're storing. And this silo is almost full. This silo is started. This one's almost full. Like, we have a lot of resources. You got it? You guys, check out episode 50 coming out in a week from now. You got to check that out because a lot of stuff happens. I heard... I heard sugar cane. Um, but I'm going to go get that done off screen because you guys don't need to see me putting in items into hoppers. And I'll catch you guys back when that's done. All right, guys, welcome back. So I put in this section here. It's all set up. Everything's lined up, and it's for um, <clears throat> a lot of things we'll find while digging that isn't super massive, like, you know, the 
four types of woods that we find more often, not counting acacia and jungle, because those are like, you don't normally find those randomly, and I find a lot of dark oak, so I included dark oak. Um, the three, sorry, the two like rare blocks, and then the uh, trash one, and then uh, sand and gravel, because, <clears throat> I mean, concrete, and then it's like coarse dirt, glass, like we, we use a lot of this. Um, so I decided we'd have that and down here everything's all set up. It's all looking good. Um So Right, they'd all be down here. Ooh. A couple of the chests fell in here. I think I should uh grab those back before um I get confused later on down the road why I'm getting chests out of my system. But and there we go. So that's all good. I still have to hook the hopper line up over to this side, but what I've been working on and starting right now, and I'm gonna do this off camera. If you guys wanna see it, I have a tutorial on this, is my shulker packer. Um, so this is like the uh, system that'll tell, hey, this is a shulker box, or hey, this is an item, and choose which way it goes. Cool little circuit. And the main function of this is that we're able to just pop in a bunch of the shulker boxes we get from mining and it'll sort it all for us. We don't have to worry about that. Um, so I'm gonna be making this. It's a good size redstone contraption. I'll actually show you a little bit of it in the redstone testing world before I build it, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. I just gotta build it. So let's go to the redstone testing world and I'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, so this up here is what we're building. So this is the like, is it a shulker box or not detector? This over is what we're going to be building. So we're going to have a dispenser that places it, breaks it, sends it through a signal, tells it to place another one, and break all this stuff. So, and we're going to try to um, compact it as much as we can. For instance, this can go up a block. I didn't realize that while building this, and that'll help. Um, this doesn't have to be the way it is exactly. Um, so we're going to be compacting it. This right here is like my favorite circuit. It tells it, this is the startup circuit. That's all it is. This is the key turning in the ignition. That's all that is. And this is the car propelling itself. But yep, um, we're going to build this. It won't take too long. Um, I think we have enough redstone for all the resources. We need to go and get more redstone. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm really excited. If you guys want to know how to build this, uh, there's a tutorial if you look up in the corner. So I'll catch you guys back when we have this done on Lorecraft. All right. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that little clip from there, the redstone testing world. Now we have all these, they all have items in it, which is an important thing because if there's no items in it, we're gonna have to go back and break it manually. Um, we're probably going to install something to take care of that for us in all honesty, but. Clearly I did something wrong. What is it? Got it. So what I did there was I need an extra redstone torch and a single block <laughs> um because this isn't supposed to get signal until it's done so we'll have to go back grab the shulker boxes because actually no they would have all gone down here I'm really glad I'm able to figure things out. <laughs> um, so this should be emptying and we can actually check it. This one's going to take a while, but it should all empty out and it should be all set and working. So um, I'll catch you guys back here in a little bit when this is closer to emptying to make sure it actually works. All right. All right. Alrighty guys, so this is coming up on the end of it now, and all we got to do is see if it will break when it's emptied, and it will place the next one. So, it's almost there, and it should break, and there we go, yep. Okay, this is working 
just fine and we should have one shulker box over here that's empty perfect oh my goodness i am happy all right well i'm gonna re let this run because we are backed up a little bit i mean that's completely full and ooh, it's not as bad as i was thinking is it nope um i should walk you through this because it did modify it a little bit actually so the way this works is obviously a hopper chain goes into here and it'll place it with our same starting mechanism that did not change then this runs over here and it stays on the same level now and it's a lot easier and then this runs into the back of this that's a big difference because before this would run into the back but i didn't want to wrap it all the way around so just swap this around a little bit it works really well um and i'm content with it so what we're going to do is we're going to put in a safety which is basically just a button that'll activate this redstone for us um and then i'm going to we could do that on screen actually it takes a second to be able to install that um so all we need is a single button which i'm excited for when we have spruce buttons and things like that then give me this and all we need to do is make a single repeater to make sure that the signal is one way i don't know why i grabbed one stone um So, what am I doing? There we go. All we need to do is pop this here, redstone. And, yep, this will work just fine. Um, I want it to go down here so that the button's on this level. So, if for some reason this doesn't work something like that we're able to press this button it'll break it and dispense the next one now you see there is the main problem we got to fix right now and you might be thinking how do we do that that doesn't look good and you're right it doesn't look good but it's easy to fix um block here block here Ooh, we will need one more hopper actually i forgot about that part Um, the only thing is, is, like, right here, it is imperative that we have a hopper facing in there as well, because if we don't, we have a chance of losing items, and those items are shulker boxes, so we don't want to do that, risk that, or anything. So, cover that up as much as possible. And that should be fine. So, yeah, guys, this is working great. Uh, we're able to cover all this up. And let's try to make it look a little nice. So, I still want this to be easily accept accessible. English is hard. So, something like this. I like the idea of having, like, exposed hoppers a little bit. But I don't want it to be, like gaping hole exposed hoppers so i like that this looks nice to me that does not we need to work on this back area a little bit just <clears throat> fill it in with blocks now obviously there is only so much we can do because this angle right there like that's where the hopper line goes so if we want to fix that we can just redirect the hopper route a little bit to make it do something like I don't want to get caught in here um ooh, uh, excuse me sorry excuse me um something like that yep that works just fine able to cover this all up that should be good in fact so can i get out through this way i don't remember did i close it off completely i think i closed it off completely Ooh. um please and thank you all right um well now that we've got all that looking nice um that 
that works for me. So how does this look? How does this look? Looks a lot better. A few exposed hoppers, stuff like that, I think looks really nice. And yeah, guys, this is working really well for us, I think. Um, can I shape that differently? I don't think so. Well, we could do something like that. How does that make it feel? And something like this. Awesome. There we go. I'm happy. I'm content. Not with this part, though. Get rid of these. Replace them. There. I think this looks nice. This looks great. Um, I'm going to go take the output from the hopper over here and run it into a chest so that we can have space. But um, one of the things we put in that had some was andesite. And yeah, this looks like it's going well. So I'm going to let this run. I'm going to go AFK. I'll catch you guys back here when progress has been made. Ooh, it's going to be a while. All right, guys, welcome back. So the machine is still running, um, and I don't have a lot of time left. So I think we got to say goodbye now. Uh, the episode was a little longer than normal, so I think you guys will be fine with that. I thought this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing this. Um, I hope you guys did too. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Um, I want to be able to do what you guys want me to do and be able to put out stuff that you want to see because if you guys aren't enjoying it... Um, why am I always on fire? If you guys aren't enjoying it, there isn't much of a point to it. So I want you guys to be able to enjoy and watch something that is going to be good for you guys. But that's going to be it for me, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do. I'll catch you guys back in the next one. Goodbye.